Sup everyone, I'm your female Taku and I'm going to review episode 3 of Orange. This is episode 3, so do you know what that means? This is the episode where people decide whether or not it passes the 3 episode test or not. Now I was not giving Orange the 3 episode test, I was just going to stick with it. But let me know if it passed or failed the 3 episode test for you. Now, with this episode of Orange, we see that the letter, uh, the, the letter in the beginning of the episode says that Kakaru decides to not join the soccer club. I'm sorry if you hear uh, water in the back. They're, they're, they're hosing down my lawn right now. So uh, just, just ignore that if, if you hear that. But anyway, and the letter told Naho that she has to try no matter what, even if she has to force Kakadu to join the soccer club. But what ended up happening was that Kakadu comes in with Suwa and Suwa announces that Kakadu has decided to join the soccer club. Then Naho realizes that, oh, so the future is already changing. Not exactly. Later on, we find out about this girl, Ueda Senpai. And Ueda, she has been eyeing Kakadu. I noticed in last week's episode, we saw a quick three second shot of her last week and I knew, I knew, I knew this girl. And so then she comes back within this episode and she confesses her feelings to Kakadu. And in the letter it says that Ueda confesses her feelings to Kakadu and Kakadu and Ueda start to date. Uh, so. Now, since earlier what happened with the whole soccer thing, she thought maybe the future could change. But it's actually all go going according to what the letter said. So Naho, what she decides to do is, to, like the letter says, that she wants her to confess her feelings to Kakadu before it's too late. So Naho is planning on doing that. She leaves a message to Kakadu saying no, saying that she doesn't believe that Kakadu should go out with Ueda, but unfortunately it is too late and he already said yes to Ueda. I am going to hurt this. <laughs> Don't you hate that? Don't you hate it when just some other side character comes in and interferes with your OTP? Like that, that just really hurts you, doesn't it? It's like, <clears throat> I was rather upset. And I know I'm gonna be really frustrated with this girl. Like she hasn't even done anything mean yet. All she did was come in and wreck up my OTP. She didn't do anything mean to a specific character just yet. Yeah, I'm already hating her. <laughs> oh man. If she ends up becoming a mean character later on, then my hatred towards her would start making a little more sense. <laughs> then later on in the episode, we go into the future, and I'm really liking this. I'm liking how the majority of the episode takes place in the present, and later half of the episode, or like a, mainly towards like the end of the episode, we go with the future. It gives us more hints, hints of what's to come, and what present Naho should do. We see that they actually made a time capsule, so I'll be looking out for that with the present cast of characters, but with the future, uh, 10 years later into the future, they dug up their time capsule and read the letters to their future selves saying like, what they wanted to be in the future, and turns out none of them ended up being what they wanted to be in the beginning. But what was interesting is when they read Kakadu's letter. In Kakadu's letter, he didn't write about what he thought he would be in the future. He just was saying what he really liked about each and every single one of his friends. That's depressing, bro. Because then they start realizing, did Kakadu never think that he would have a future? Did Kakadu knew he was going to die? Was the accident not really an accident? Then that's when Naho knew that they all should have paid a little closer attention to Kakadu. And that's her mission, is to go back and change the future to save Kakadu. In the letter, actually, Kakadu says that he wished that he was able to have some cooked meals by Naho, and he also wished that he joined the soccer club. So those were actually two of his regrets that were mentioned in the letter for present Naho to try to uh, rewrite, you could say. Orange to me is 
really interesting and is definitely something to look out for. I'm totally sticking with this anime. Didn't give it the three episode test in the beginning, but still, just letting you guys know, I'm totally sticking with Orange, no matter what. And it's honestly one of my top five favorite anime of the season thus far. Let me know your theories this time on this episode and catch later as I review Days and Tales of Hysteria the X. I'm your female otaku, Sayonara.